Hi everyone. So today's video is going to be all about washing my makeup brushes. So I'm going to kind of explain why you should wash your makeup brushes, how often you should wash your makeup brushes. I'll show you how I wash and dry my makeup brushes and recommend some products that I like. If you like the makeup look that I'm wearing right now, it's really similar to my Makeup 101 video. I'll put a link for that in the description box below, except I'm wearing just a few different colors on my eyelid as my eyeshadow. It's still the same technique and kind of the same layout as the Makeup 101, but just different colors. And I'm also wearing some false lashes and a different lip color. The lip color that I'm wearing is a free sample of the NARS lip pigment in the shade American Woman. I really like this lip pigment. It's almost kind of like a liquid lip, but it's a little bit more comfortable and not as drying on your lips. I will say it is a little bit drying, so it does emphasize texture a little bit, but the staying power is really great. It lasts a really long time. The lashes that I'm wearing are the Ardell Faux Mink lashes in the style Demi Wispy, I believe. And the lash glue that I'm wearing is the Duo Lash Glue in the shade Clear. I'm still testing out these lashes and this lash glue, so I can't really give you my opinion on them quite yet. And if you like my eyebrows, then I recently just filmed an eyebrow tutorial where I talk about how I pluck them, how I cut them, how I groom them, how I fill them in, what products I use, and why I like them. So I'll also put a link for that in the description box below if you want to check that out. So let's talk about washing makeup brushes. So the first thing that I want to talk about is uh, how you know when it's time to wash your makeup brushes and how often you should wash your makeup brushes. So I know that it's time to wash my makeup brushes when they're not performing as well as they used to. So I might be applying bronzer and notice that it gets kind of blotchy on my skin. Or maybe I'm buffing in my liquid foundation and I notice my brush is kind of leaving streaks on my face. Uh, for me, I know that too much product has built up on my brush and so it's not performing as well as it used to. Or I also know it's time to wash my brushes when my skin is breaking out. I think it just means too much products on the brush. Uh, it needs a good clean wash to get rid of that bacteria to help your skin. How often you wash your makeup brushes totally just depends on what products you're using and how often you use your brushes. So if you're someone who uses a lot of cream liquid products, then you might want to wash your brushes once a week or once every two weeks. But if you're someone that uh, can go long periods of time without wearing makeup and maybe you just use a lot of powder products, then you can go by a lot longer without washing your brushes, maybe like once a month. So if I just wanna do a quick spot clean to my brushes, in other words, I don't wanna do like a deep clean to my brushes, then I love this stuff right here. I got it on Amazon. It's called Cinema Secrets Makeup Brush Cleaner. So the back of the bottle says, this quick drying rinse-free formula will clean, condition, and deodorize both natural and synthetic makeup brushes while leaving a pleasant vanilla scent. I really like that stuff to wash my brushes and do just like a quick spot clean, not a deep clean, because then my brushes dry almost instantly afterwards and it kind of conditions my brushes cleans them, leaves them nice and soft, uh, but then they're ready to use if I need to use them like the next day or within the next hour or so. If I wanna do a deep clean to my brushes, then I use Johnson's Baby Soap here. I think that this does a great job of being tough enough to remove makeup, even like liquid foundation and cream products, but still gentle enough to where it leaves my bristles nice and soft and doesn't damage them, kind of make them dried out or frayed. If you're someone that wants to do a deep clean to your brushes, but maybe you don't have a lot of brushes or don't need to wash them very often, then I would use that Johnson's Baby Soap and just your hand. So as you're washing them in warm water, just kind of swirl them around on your hand. It creates some nice agitation to get the product off your brushes, but it still leaves it nice and it's still a gentle surface to clean your brushes. But if you're someone that uh, maybe has more brushes or you need to wash them more often, so as I'm doing more brides and more clients and uh, my brush collection has expanded I need to wash a lot of brushes more often so I got this thing I got it on Amazon I'll put a link for it down below in the description box and the reason I like this is because when I first started out and I didn't have that many brushes and I didn't wash them uh, that often or I didn't need to wash them that often I would use my hand but now that I'm getting more brushes if my hands constantly underwater or being used it gets all pruney at the end I know first world problems so that's why I really like this mitt here it covers my hand and it uh, is soft enough but offers some good agitation to clean the brushes but still it's gentle to the bristles 
So it has three different surfaces here, rinse, wash, and refine. I don't really use those surfaces. I just feel like I use whatever's handy to uh, just offer some good agitation to the brushes to get the product off. And then I rinse, you know, just all over. So I don't really go with the rinse, wash, and refine. I basically just use the whole mint. So I wanted to show you all how I use the Cinema Secrets Makeup Brush Cleaner. So I grabbed that stuff, obviously, just a small like Petri dish, some paper towels or a really old towel that you don't mind getting dirty, and the brushes that I need to clean. So what I do is I just take that cleaner and then I just pour a little bit, only because I'm doing a few brushes, um, into this container like that much, but I would feel a lot more if I was watching, washing a lot more brushes. And so I would recommend starting with brushes that have powder products on them and then save brushes, like I use this brush for my concealer today, and save those brushes till the very end. Because these powder brushes don't get the uh, solution very dirty, but these liquid product brushes really get them dirty really quickly. So what I do is I just take that brush and dip it in the solution until it kind of drinks it up and then press the rest out on the side of the bowl. And then I just come over to my paper towel and just brush it around until there's no product left on, on the paper towel. So if you see, if I brush over here, there's no product left and then the brush is nice and clean. And then I just kind of set it off to the side here and let it dry, but it's basically dry already. And you'll see what I mean here in just a second when I brush this or when I dip this concealer brush into the solution. So if you dip it in, you can see that the water's getting pretty murky here and then push it off to the side. And I just kind of keep dipping until I feel like all the product has left. Liquid products take a lot longer to come off the brush. And so I definitely do recommend uh, deep cleaning your liquid brushes because sometimes it's hard to get the stuff off. So you can see the solution is a lot murkier. So I wouldn't want to go in with a brush that has powder product on it after this because that then it just kind of gets gross. But then again, I do that same thing. I come over here to a clean spot on the paper towel and then just keep rubbing it off until and if you can see if I move over here, it's uh, there's like hardly any product coming off. And then I just set it to the side and it's done and it's clean and it's ready to go. So now I wanted to show you all how I deep clean my brushes. So I take my mitt and I always start with warm water and then I just run my brush under the warm water just to get it wet. And then on the very end of my brush, I just place a little bit of that Johnson's baby soap and I just go back and forth with my brush and you can see lots of makeups coming off. So I kind of tilt it to the side like this and rotate it around. I'll put it straight on and just kind of twirl it. So you see I'm using the whole mitt. And then, so I'll twirl it, I'll go back and forth, I'll do side to side. Sometimes I have to clean it twice just depending on how dirty it is. But I do it until I feel like I've gotten all the product off and just keep swirling until you feel like you've gotten all the product off. And then I rinse my mitt in cold water And then I also rinse the brush in cold water as well. And I try to squeeze out the excess product. So then when I feel like most of the product is gone, I just give the brush a good squeeze just to squeeze out any excess water. And then I just take a towel and just kind of run it back and forth just to take off a little bit more extra water. So as you can see now, my brush is not in the ideal shape that I want it to be. So I just kind of take my hands and form it to the shape that I want it to be. So if you want it to be kind of cone-like, like this, then that's what you do. If you want it to be flatter, then just kind of squeeze it flatter. If you want the bristles to be kind of sprayed out, then, you know, just shape it however you want. So I want this to be kind of straight like this. And what's so nice about these Real Technique brushes is that they do have a flat bottom, so you can stand them up like this to dry, uh, but some of them don't, so I just kind of lay them over the side or on a paper towel like this and let them dry like this overnight. Then once they're dry, you should just be able to kind of move your hand or your finger to fluff them back into place. And then I follow similar steps to wash my beauty sponge. I wash this every time before I use it because I get it damp anyway, so I might as well wash it. So I use this one today, so it's got concealer and powder on it and it's got foundation on this side. So how I wash it is I take a bar of soap. I don't even know what brand this is, but I think the best brand is Dove Soap because it's 
tough enough to remove these stains, but it's still gentle. I found that if you use some soaps uh, that are too harsh, then it can leave kind of like a film on your sponge and make it kind of crunchy and crispy. So just play around with different soaps and see which ones you like. But I start by doing the same thing where I wet the soap and my sponge in warm water. And then under the water, I rub the sponge back and forth on that soap. Because I find if you use liquid detergents, liquid soaps, it's kind of like your sponge just soaks it all up. So I just keep going back and forth and around in circles, rubbing my sponge against the soap, and that is what removes the product. And I just keep squeezing until I feel like all the soap is gone on your sponge. So I'm using the soap. That is what is agitating the product on the sponge and removing the product. And so then I just squeeze all the water out and the soap out and rinse it under cold water. All right, you all, I hope this video was helpful and thank you so much for watching.